It was a hell climbing into the fire. Not a good idea. Oh, what? That's that. Oh, crikey, mighty. So, um, I've just started the next day, and um, I've obviously just burnt myself straight away, which is never a good look. Right. Oh, come on. No, I need bandages. I need bandages. Okay, so the trees have all fallen down. Um, your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important to your survival. For example, a murder crow circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. Okay. So I'm, I'm looking out for the birdies, apparently. Um, I, I think we need... Well, I don't know what we're going to need. I, I need food, that's for sure. All right, mate. All right, calm down. We'll, we'll go and get you some bandages. We'll, I guess we're going to have to start thinking about leaving the safety of the uh, the cave. Where's that tree go? Oh, let's go. Let's, we can climb tree. Let's take a look. So that storm last night was was crazy. It was such a big storm. Oh, look, it's a deer. It's high. There's food. There's medical kit or something. Oh, please let it be in the first aid kit. Oh, it's Astrid. It's the wife. Hmm. Locked. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, well, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. But it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything you don't think i feel it too are you gonna take me or not the longer i wait the worse it'll get damn it i don't have time for this wait 
the worst what we'll get. Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Okay, so I really shouldn't have taken that job from my mysterious ex, who's not seen in years. And it's some crazy shenanigans. Aspert was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Well, she's not here, mate, so where is she? Um, uh, can I not take the backpack? You're not going to give me the backpack? N nothing in the backpack? Okay, nothing in the backpack. Fine. Whatever. Well, let me take some more cedar wood because we're running out of wood in case we need to come back for it. Oh, it's a coat. Here. Yes. Yes. Clothing is armor against the cold. Out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against elements. Wear layers to stay warm and remember, wind is your enemy. Clothing offers different protection from cold and windmill. Wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow or if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective, increases your risk of hyperthermia or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. <coughs> Finally, clothing can protect you from physical injuries as from falling or dangling with wildlife. Balance all these factors against the weight and mobility cost of your combined clothing. Oh, okay. So the wind chill is, is a pretty big factor. Um, let's put that on right now. Oh, scrap metal shard. Why have I not been using that? Okay, hang on. Where's the coat that I just found? Yeah, there we go. Let's equip this one right now. No, you're not going to let me equip it. Actions. Repair. Harvest. No, I don't harvest anything. I just want to repair Okay, right, I'm freezing to death while I'm trying to work out exactly how to put a coat on. Um, which seems a bit counterintuitive. What, you, you want to climb? What, what now? Am I not going to try and get the elk? This could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Okay, yes, we'll take the meat. Oh, see, it takes longer the more amount of meat you have. Well, it's going to give me a hell of a lot of food, a hell of a lot of calories. Oh, it's pretty cold, though. You know what, we'll take a small amount, we'll take half an amount. Okay, I think that's good, I think that's good. We've took the venison, and hopefully that's going to be enough to keep us warm. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over a fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Okay, right, so we'll probably we'll have to go back, and uh, I'm surprised I'm not trying to take its antlers. If I'm like a survival boy, I thought that would be something, you know, you might consider taking. Can't feel my feet. Alright, mate, alright, I know you're cold, I know you're cold. Really? I'm not taking this backpack? Okay. Um, it says I can climb. I don't know whether or not I should maybe go back and eat the food. Yeah, I'm pretty cold. I need some food. Let's go and eat. I'm definitely not going down there, because that cliff is like a murder cliff. Let's, let's get down here. Let's see if we can start another fire. Let's see if I don't actually burn myself this time as well. That that would be nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put more on it. I'm gonna cook the venison. Oh, lovely! I can taste that sweet, sweet meat right now. Um, do we need any water? No, we've got enough. We've got enough for now. Um, yeah, let's put some more, put more in here. Yeah, I want. Let's get nice and toasty. We're gonna get really warmed up before we go out again. Um, and let's 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 eat. Let's. Where's my food? Oh yeah. Well, I only filled it a quarter of the way, so you, maybe you're gonna need quite a lot of them chunks. That's good. Okay, we're we're good on water. We've got enough food just for now. I've got enough flames. I'm pretty hot as well. Maybe I should risk it. Maybe I should risk going up to the, the top. Can I make any more bandages? No, no bandages. Um, you know what? I think we should chance it. I've got food. Let's try and climb it and see if we can make it to the top before 
things get any worse and you know it gets any colder and we're sort of stuck here anymore I will take a bit of this just in case we end up not coming back here okay we're going to try climbing there we go there we go let's, let's get up out of here that hand is starting to look a bit sore oh 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 my gosh I've sprained my ankle oh no sometimes mother nature is your pharmacist craft rose sips into a preparation that can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties keep your eyes open for other natural remedies that's true rose hips does do that i used to work in a health food shop and rose hip tablets are good for arthritis and pain okay so we're going to take this okay so that was a bit of a full start i thought we was going to be able to climb out of this gulch that we're stuck in and hopefully um make our way up but it's looking more and more likely that we're going to be stuck here for another night. So let's take as many resources as we can. We'll get as much wood as we can. I may even grab a little bit more meat from this carcass since I've just sprained my ankle. Yeah, we're going, to, we're going to take a big chunk this time. You ready? We're going to be cold, but I can make it back in time for the fire. Cool. There we go. Okay, right. We need to, we need to go. We need to go. The wind chill. Everything's going on. Oh no, I didn't want to do that right now. Okay, let's let's just let's just try and get back to base as quickly as we can. God damn freezing. Yes, I know you are, I know you are, Will. It's okay, son. Don't worry. We're gonna be there in a minute, okay? Right, let's um, let's get that heat nice and going. There we go. Got maximum output. You know what? Let's um Let's. How are we gonna do? How do we do the uh, the food? Let's take a look at what we can do. No, and then hopefully we should be able to add the berries, and that's gonna make the tea. Okay. Okay. Now can we do it? No. No. What's going on? How how do we how do we get these berries going? Let's take a look in the journal. Collect rose hips. You need to survive. So going, oh, maybe I need more. I've got to, have I got to get more rose hips before we can actually make the tea? That's surely enough. No? I need more. Now, how much more of this rose hips do we need? Let's take it back. I'm going to cook the food as well. I'm obviously going really slow because I've just sprained my ankle. Oh, it's chilly. It's chilly, it's chilly. Okay. Um, let's cook the gammon game before it goes rotten. Okay, right, maybe there's something I need to do more. Can't really do anything in this because I don't know the code. Okay, right, here we go. Prepared rose sips. Begin crafting. There we go. That's better. Now we're working it out. Okay. I've probably got lots of rose sips now. Um, oh, a bandage as well, yes. That's going to help with the burn, and hopefully I might be able to repair my um, my leg. I can't wear it until I repair it. That sucks. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's wet though. Okay, but it's drying out. It's drying out slowly. 20% wet. Okay. No, no, yeah, put, keep trousers on. Oh, he hasn't got any gloves either. Bless him. Bless his cotton socks. Okay, right. Now let's see if I can repair the the fuel. Yes. We, oh, we've got a bandage. Right, I'm going to make the bandage. Um, the sprained foot. That didn't work. No, oh, Christ. Okay. Oh, it's not food. Right, I must have to boil it again. Yes, there we go. Oh, we got there, guys. We got there. This is going to help us out. Oh, I've only got a few minutes left of the fire. Shit. There we go. Whew. There we go. Okay. Right, nice craft. Yes, rose hip tea. 
<sighs> Thank God for that. May as well rest up. Uh, telling what tomorrow will bring. Another day.